Welcome to a very rare 1080p video. I'm recording this in 1080p today on my laptop monitor only, um, so I've got a really cursed recording setup right now because we're focusing on the taskbar today. And normally I'd use 4K, but the taskbar takes up such a small region of the screen on 4K, I thought it would just do a disservice. So we're recording in 1080, cursed setup, so meh. Uh, but today, I am going to teach you how to get a translucent or transparent taskbar in Windows because I've had a few comments about, you know, how I've done it. And it is honestly a very simple process. This video is going to be very, very, very short, um, which is good because I have assignments to do and short videos are really good for that sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to be using a program called Translucent TB. So there are two ways you can get this. The first is on the Microsoft Store, which is the way that I'll be doing. The second, there is a website somewhere. I don't remember exactly what it is. I've never had any luck with versions I've gotten from the website. When I've gotten them off the store, they've worked fine. So I don't know what to deal with that is. Maybe it's just me being weird. So we're going to head over to the Microsoft Store. I've literally got the keyboard in my lap at the moment. <laughs> is how, how jank this is. Right, let me try and find the mouse. There it is. And then we're going to go to the search bar. And we're going to type in translucent. And then we're going to want this one. Translucent TB. And we're just going to hit install. So this is just... A really simple program, as I've said, you install it, I believe it just turns on automatically. Uh, it might not, do, okay, it doesn't. But if I were to do it now, open, boom, there you go. Welcome to Translucent TV. You don't need to look at any of this. We can see the taskbar is transparent. Look at that, we've it's we've done it. Already. It's that easy, it's that easy. It's not the end of the video though, because I'm gonna show you how to configure certain things. Because the way I have it, uh, so the way it is by default, when you have a maximized window, the taskbar stays translucent. I don't really like that. So what we can do is we can go into our into our tray here. Yours might be uh, further along. I just have my, all mine collapsed. And you want this a translucent TB icon here and you can click that and you can change some settings. So this open at boot one is very important. This means that when you restart the computer, translucent TB will open up automatically. So you don't have to open it every time. It will open at boot. Um, which is really nice. Then you have some advanced settings. There's not really um, anything I want to talk about in here, but I just thought I'd point them out. In case you wanted to edit the settings via JSON, which you don't need to do anymore. You used to have to do that, but you don't have to do it anymore. But the setting we want to change, or I want to change specifically, is this maximize window thing. So you can change exactly what the behaviors are. My computer is going nuts right now. You can change exactly what the behaviors are in different states. So for example, if there is a maximized window, we can say we want to enable and override, and then we have to go back in, annoyingly. Um, and then we can change exactly what you want. So we can either have it normal, uh, opaque, clear, or acrylic, which is what I have it. I think normal is a little bit different. And now you can see that when it's, it's minimized, or when it's kind of restored down, you can see straight through it, but when I maximize it, it, it um it goes opaque or well, acrylic that tends to be what they call uh, all the translucent effects in Windows 11 apparently they're working on a new one I can't remember what it's called though but it looks really nice so it should be fun so there are also a few other settings that we can change so if you wanted you can enable uh, battery saver mode so if you wanted uh, it to do something different whenever the battery was low you could so if you wanted the taskbar to be bright red for example you could enable it like this I won't be able to show it off because my battery is not super low uh, you can have an accent color and you can set it to bright red, scary, scary red. And that will tell you, if you hit this click, now when you're really low, your taskbar will start going really red, so you can see. Uh, so that's kind of an example of the sort of things you're going to do. I'm not going to go over every single one because it's all just the same. Um, but yeah, as I said, very, very simple program to allow you to make your taskbar Really nice and pretty. I just think it works really well, especially on Windows 11 with the with the icons in the middle and it just looks so fluid and nice and I love it. It's great. <laughs> of course, if you like the video, then leave a like to let me know. It helps out a lot. It helps me know what I'm doing well, so that's good. Or you can leave a comment down below with any questions or feedback on the video. I take any sort of feedback, so you know, let me know what I could improve or let me know if you're confused or, or something's not working. On top of that, you can subscribe if you want to see more content like this or you can join as a member for as little as one pound a month uh, to get some nice little benefits. With that in mind, I'd like to thank my amazing patrons on screen now. I also have a patron. I don't have any members yet, so these are just patrons. But if you do become a member, you'll be on this screen as well. And I will see you next time when we... It'll probably be next Perfect Python. There's only two videos this week because of assignments. But next week, hopefully, it'll be three again. 
hopefully. Uh, but Mondays will be there, so the perfect Python will be there. So I'll see you for that.